This next part of the show is so mind-blowing. It's all about Kevin Alushala, our beatboxer, and how, and how unbelievably talented he is in every single way. It's incredible. I know a lot of you know this story, but for those of you who don't, Kirstie, Mitch, and I grew up in Arlington, Texas. That's where Pentatonix started with the three of us. And then we wanted to be on the show The Sing-Off on NBC 10 years ago, 11 years ago. But we could not find a beatboxer anywhere, and the show was coming up fast. And in an act of desperation, we went on YouTube, and we typed in beatboxers. Enter. <laughs> and the first video to come up, which happened to be going viral that week, was a video of Kevin playing cello and beatboxing simultaneously. That's how we reacted as well. And we were like, oh my gosh, we found the guy, we found him, we found him. How do we message him? YouTube message? I didn't even know that was a thing, but we were like, let's try it. So we YouTube messaged him and we were like, hey man, if you're free, would you like, <laughs> would you like to fly across the country and audition for a TV show with some strangers? And, uh, <laughs> and uh, he was like, he actually responded. And he was like, you know, I normally would be so down. Like I love acapella, I've been in an acapella group before but I'm studying for finals to get my pre-med major at Yale. The list keeps going. I know, I was like, oh, same. <laughs> I was like, Very relatable, Kevin. So, <laughs> no, but I was like, okay, so that's a done deal. So we forgot about it, but then two weeks later, he messaged again, he was like, great news, got the pre-med major. Also, a doctor, a scholar. And he was like, and I'm also down to fly across the country and audition for the show with you. So he did. And then we won the show and we haven't stopped for 11 years. And I'll, I'll leave it up to the imagination how the conversation went with his parents who are here tonight. I know I just got my pre-med major, but can I be a professional beatboxer? Please. Um, anyways, he's about to do his cello boxing for you, which is what he did in the first video that we saw. So give it up for Kevin Alushala. Man, thank y'all so much. This has been such an incredible night. Like, we love y'all so much, and this is truly one of my favorite. I love you too. <laughs> And can I say, I, I have been excited for this show for a while because this is a hometown show for me. Uh, this is a hometown show for me. For those that don't know, I'm from Owensboro, Kentucky. That's where I grew up. So Kentucky, thanks for making my band feel like we're at home right now. Thank you all so much. <laughs> So like Scott said, the band found me from a viral YouTube video. Literally, this is, a, this is me practicing cello in my dorm, and one of my friends, Jake Bruin, comes to me and says, have you ever thought about putting this, this thing that you're doing, this cello boxing thing on YouTube? So literally, we, we go to an old dingy basement in my college. He brings a video camera, and this is what I play for him. Thank you. So that piece is called Julio by Mark Summer, who's part of the Turtle Island String Quartet, and that, that piece completely changed my life. I now have this amazing career with four of the most incredible people I know. And this cello boxing thing I've been doing now for almost 12 years, one of the things I've realized about it is that I actually love taking classical pieces 
and trying to reinvent them in my own way. So I thought tonight I'd play an excerpt of the Bach prelude from the cello suite number one. <laughs> I hope you all enjoy this. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh man, I thank y'all so much. This has been such an amazing year and you know, it feels like this journey is still not done. This this past year I have been going deeper in my own soul, trying to be more vulnerable and figure out what I artistically want to say next. And this next piece that I've arranged and produced, I think is the culmination of that year-long search. And you'll know the piece that this is based on and inspired by. This is called Kevin's Fifth.
for Kim.